Sahara Desert, the largest non-polar desert in the world, which covers 8% of the whole land mass of the planet and 31% of the total area of Africa. If you might think the Sahara is just a barren land of sand and dunes then hold on tight because it was not always the barren desert we see today. It holds secrets of a vibrant past and ancient civilizations that once thrived in its midst. The Sahara experienced periods of greening and was inhabited by humans who left behind rock art depicting animals and their way of life. Over time, the desert expanded and became the barren landscape it is today. Can you imagine that this arid desert was once home to a massive lake? Yes, you heard that right. Around 250,000 years ago, a lake covering over 42,000 square miles existed in the Sahara. It was the second largest lake in the world at the time, and it played a vital role in the migration of humans out of Africa. The lake provided resources and sustenance for our ancestors, enabling them to traverse the otherwise harsh landscape and eventually spread across the Middle East. The Sahara has witnessed the rise and fall of countless civilizations, making it a treasure trove of lost riches. Caravans traveling through the desert faced dangers such as raiders and massive sandstorms, resulting in lost goods like gold, precious gems, and luxury items. Although finding these treasures might seem like an impossible task, the allure of untold wealth continues to captivate our imaginations. As we delve deeper, we discover the Sahara's rich history of ancient civilizations. One such civilization is the Garamantes, who thrived in the Libyan section of the desert. These advanced people built about three cities, tombs, they had army of chariots and cavalry. They are known to have a written language. You might be surprised to know that even in the shortage of rain in the middle of the desert, these people managed to cultivate their land and obtain sufficient water which was far too ahead of that time considering the limited equipment and technology they had. Garamantes had an empire of 70,000 square miles in the middle of the world's largest desert. Now, here's where it gets really exciting. There are speculations about the Sahara holding clues to the legendary city of Atlantis. I know, it sounds incredible, right? In the Western Sahara, there's a geologic feature called the Rishat structure that shares similarities with Plato's description of Atlantis. Although it's believed to be a natural formation, some wonder if it could be the remains of the lost city itself. While we can't say for certain, reports of Stone Age tools and artifacts, as well as anomalies within the structure, have only added to the mystery. Now, Let's shift our focus to the incredible rock art scattered across the Sahara. These ancient artworks provide us with a glimpse into the lives of the people who once inhabited these lands. Sites like Tassili Najir in Algeria and Enedi Plateau in Chad boast thousands of years worth of prehistoric rock paintings and engravings. They depict scenes of daily life, wildlife, hunting, and religious rituals, preserving the knowledge and traditions of the past. But the Sahara isn't just about history and archaeology. It's a land of breathtaking natural wonders as well. The Tadra Takakis mountain range in Libya is a surreal landscape of towering sandstone cliffs, canyons, and rock arches. This visually stunning region is also home to archaeological sites and ancient rock shelters that tell stories of early human settlements. The Sahara is not a lifeless desert. It's teeming with unique ecosystems and biodiversity. Sahara is home to some wonderful species in the world. Around 70 species of mammals, 90 species of birds, 100 species of reptiles live here. This includes scorpions, highly venomous viper, cheetah, gila monster lizard, ostrich, fennec fox and many others variety of desert adapted plants and animals. Sahara has enormous wealth of natural resources, huge reserves of oil and natural gas. It is also rich in iron ore and large quantities of phosphates. But let's not forget the challenges this vast desert presents. It is a harsh and inhospitable environment, with extreme temperatures, sandstorms, minimal rainfall and limited resources make the Sahara an unforgiving environment. However, it's precisely these challenges that make every discovery and exploration in the Sahara more remarkable. The Sahara is a living testament to the dynamic nature of our world. As we study its past, we gain insights into Earth's climate changes and the impacts they have had on ecosystems and human civilizations. It raises questions about our future and the role of human-induced climate change in shaping our environment. If you enjoyed this video, 
Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more interesting videos.